What's up everybody, Andres here, Café Tres Estrellas, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I have a quote here from The Babe. Uh, Every strike brings me closer to the next home run. So, uh, Babe Ruth played baseball, you know, a long time ago by many considered to be, you know, one of the, you know, uh, greats, or you know, he is the greatest of all time, you know, everyone can discuss whether he is the greatest or he, you know, it's difficult to really make that analysis if you take everything into consideration, um, you know, equipment and, you know, back in his time, uh, training, you know, is, was a very broad term, um, you know, so anyway, uh, what he's trying to say is, you know, if you never take any risks, you're never going to have any success. Uh, fear of failure you know holds um, a lot of people back from making um, progress in their life or taking chances on ideas they have and um, you know uh, by no means do I consider what we're doing a success you know yet we haven't really you know we're in the beginning stages of what we're doing but uh, we've taken the first step right we've or maybe you know, a few we've taken a few steps you know on on this on our plan um so fear of failure had stopped me or held me back from you know taking the first step you know you, a lot of people think about you know the bad stuff and it talks them out of uh, starting something that could potentially be uh, a really good thing right so uh, so, you know, if, if you're on a, you know, I heard this analogy, you know, if you're on a ship, right, and you're barreling down on another ship, right, you hear the ship, but it's, but it's uh, foggy, right, and you only have enough um, gunpowder to fire one cannonball, right, so you can either die by getting run into by the ship by not firing the cannonball because you're afraid of wasting your gunpowder and not hitting or you use all your gunpowder on that one cannonball and shoot it off blindly and you miss right and you die because you get run into by the other ship so you know most people you know if they're not starting they either take a big leap without a plan and wonder why they made no progress or failed uh, in what they were doing, right? So what, you know, the story goes on to say what you should do is you take a small amount of gunpowder, enough to shoot a bullet out, and you make a shot, right? And you miss. So then you take another small um, amount of gunpowder, you shoot another bullet out, you make an adjustment, you shoot another bullet out, and you know you miss again so then you make a third adjustment and you take a small amount of gunpowder you shoot a bullet out and you hear a pink so you've by taking small amounts of gunpowder and shooting small pieces of ammunition making small adjustments every time you shoot them uh, eventually you're you'll hit your target so now you know where the ship is so then you load up your cannon your cannon with all your gunpowder with your cannonball you know where the ship is and you shoot it and you know you don't die because you sink the ship because you've done you've done uh, basically you've done research and you've developed an, a plan and an idea and you now know where the other ship is so you can now save your life and you know sink it before you run into it so uh, it may seem you know for me you know my wife and I are, are both doing this um, this business you know for and it's good uh, to you know, if you have the opportunity to start a business with somebody else right and ideally you want it not to be another you right so you want someone who who's different than you are right understand that the, the goal is the same for both but uh, the way the attributes you bring to the team are are different so my wife and I are doing this business and my wife is um, a different person and a different thinker, thinks of ideas differently, problem solves differently, 
than I do. And um, so, you know, we've been filling our, you know, shooting our bullets out, right? Trying to hit the side of the ship before we shoot our cannon off. And um, you, know, you get a little antsy, right? So as of late, I've been a little antsy, you know, thinking that because we're not at the end of the journey we're not doing what we said we're going to do in the beginning that you know we're not making any progress but all those small bullets that we shoot off are giving giving us information right um so you know and every time you shoot a bullet the changes that you make should be based on the previous bullet you shot right so we had a plan our grand scheme of what we thought was going to happen um, and because all the little bullets we've shot out you know that's evolved into something that um, we think will be better than the idea we had when we started um, so because we have different personalities and ways of solving problems we you know we're able to help each other out to keep each other motivated right keep swinging for the fences right we may strike out every once in a while but you won't hit a home run if you don't swing the bat and you know take a chance so anyone out there that's thinking about doing something right you know you know, everybody has ideas of what they want to do um, you know those ideas must be uh, you know thought out and you know everything is you know within reason everything can be accomplished but uh, take that first step right you won't know how hard it is until you until you try it um, I've learned a lot about myself recently you know things that I had always said that I would never do or never be good at or have no skills um, you know in, uh, in within in doing that you know, I found out that I do have skills that I didn't know I had just because you know we said we're gonna do this and we're gonna take that first step and you, know, you find out a lot about yourself and about the other person uh, when you're in a situation like this so uh, moral of the story is you know swing away you know you don't always have to bunt and get around the bases one at a time you know you want to try and hit that home run because you know you don't know if uh, you're going to be the next babe right so thanks for tuning in uh, and leave comments questions um, we'll have updates here pretty soon in the next few weeks we'll have uh, hopefully a live website uh, working on merch merchandise uh, getting ready to get coffee out to you guys uh, so a lot's going to happen here in the next few weeks. Um, so thanks for tuning in and we'll uh, talk to you next time.